Responsiveness is all about user experience, and different calculator breakpoints exist for that specific reason – to inform your website users in the most comfortable way regardless of the device they're using. And sometimes it cannot look the same throughout them all. Buttons have to be bigger for smaller screens, and layouts have to be adjusted just like the size of your copy. So when you open your calculator editor, the default editor mode is set to desktop view, and it means it's best fit for large screens, laptops, and similar. But besides from desktop, you see a few more device icons which we call different breakpoints. By pressing on them, you can check and style how your interactive calculators will look on any tablet or mobile screen. Now to use breakpoints well, you have to understand the breakpoint range, or in other words, the sizing. We receive quite a few messages about embedding a calculator and the issue is, it's looking different from your editor. Now that can happen because of your container size where you're planning to embed a calculator. It can be smaller than the specified breakpoint range. So for example, I have prepared a calculator on a desktop breakpoint and embedded it into the web page, uh, which is our blog page, and the elements as you see swapped places, even though I'm using a desktop device. The answer is simple. Embedded container on my web page, so on my blog, is smaller than the desktop breakpoint and it falls under the tablet range. So before embedding the calculator, you have to check if the container size in the website meets these ranges and you will avoid any unexpected outcomes. You can also check the ranges of the calculator by pulling the cursor and the icons. And as you see, the desktop is 1024 pixels and up, then the tablet breakpoint is 640 to 1024 pixels, and then the mobile is 640 and lower. Now let's get to styling. By default, style for your calculator is inherited from your desktop breakpoint, so created elements will automatically be copied throughout different breakpoints. But later on, you can change the view for different devices by styling. So if we choose the desktop breakpoint, uh, and as you see, the select field background here is in blue color. But if I change the tab to tablet or mobile breakpoints, it can have different backgrounds, it can have different style, and in some cases, well, different colors. However, you have to keep in mind that the number of elements cannot vary. So for example, if I create an additional element, let's say an info box, in the mobile breakpoint, it will also appear in your tablet and desktop. So in short, shared settings options affect all the elements in your calculator, regardless of the selected breakpoint, but styling can be adjusted differently to each view. What's more for element style, the new Calconic version offers more possibilities for the design perspective. So elements can be arranged in two or more columns, making your calculator even more appealing to the eye. So let's say in this case, I want to keep the desktop mode like this, but then on the tablet, I wanted to have the two columns. So I simply drag the elements, make them shorter, and then pull the last element up and make the second column. But keep in mind, it's not recommended to create more columns in the mobile breakpoint view, since the range is pretty small. So your copy in some cases might be too small to read. And we're done. So now you know about different device breakpoints for interactive calculators. And thank you for watching.